Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. So my name is Alicia, and in today's video, I am going to talk about the ColourPop, the Child, ColourPop, the Child Palette. This is the Mandalorian, the Child Pressed Powder Palette. If you haven't seen this palette already, it came out fairly recently. Um, I did order it, but it, it kind of took a while to get here, in my opinion. And this is a nine pan palette. There are four matte shades. One, so here are the four mattes. One, two, three, four. This shade right here is a sequin shade, so it's a matte shade with some glitter in it. And then there's two like metallic or shimmer shades right here and right here. This I think is their Super Shock formula. And I think this one is also. I'm not super familiar with their formulas, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And I picked up this palette, I mean, let's be honest, because I think it's cute. And at first, I told myself that I didn't have anything like this in my collection. However, so I recently purchased this Natasha Denona um, what is this called? The blue brown? The green brown palette. And I mean, this right here kind of looks like the ColourPop palette. But I mean, you know, this was only 15 bucks. Obviously, this was a lot more. I kind of purchased them around the same time. I really didn't think about the greens that I had in here before purchasing this. But regardless, I mean, the palette is really cute. Um, which, if I'm being honest with myself, uh, that's pretty much why I purchased it. I mean, like, adorable. So, I am wearing that on my eyes today. And I have this shade in the crease. And then this center shade all over my lid topped with a mixture of, let's see here, this one. And this one, I believe. And then I have just these two more in my crease, like closer to my, my um, eyelid. So yeah, so I am wearing the palette. I've been wearing the palette since, like, I think 9 o'clock this morning. And it is... 10:30 at night, so uh, it's been going pretty strong. I did touch up the lid shade just to kind of make it make it pop a little bit more on camera, but it it wore great. You know, it looked fine. I didn't do any special primer. I just primed my eyes like normal, and so yeah. So the quality, the wear time, I was very happy with. I just kind of wanted to jump in here jump on here and show you guys the palette and hopefully give you some swatches of it. So I will go ahead and swatch this palette and I'm gonna start in this upper left hand corner and work my way across and then just go from there. So the first shade is called Precious Cargo. And like I said earlier, this shade does remind me of their Super Shock formula. It's very thin. And then there that is right there. So again, I think it's more of a thin formula. I would use this, I would use this all over my lid, but I would for sure like prefer this as a topper shade. And it's kind of like a gold with silver glitter. That's definitely glitter, but it's more like a greeny gold. In my viewfinder, it does look pretty accurate, so hopefully you guys are getting the you know, the true color. And that one, like I said, is called Precious Cargo. And then next, we have Right Hand Mando. So this to me is like a, just a basic metallic, not basic, but you know, a routine, typical metallic shade. This feels like the metallics in my other ColourPop palette that I have. And this is, is it like a seafoam green? But this is definitely a green shade. Like I said, it's a metallic. I did get fallout with this, but this is beautiful. 
to me it reminds me of like a cool toned green a sea foam green if you will this next one right here is called just like a tattoo tuny ah, I don't watch Star Wars Ugh. so this one is just like a tattoo I'm sorry okay and this to me is just a nice Mm, maybe a little bit of a warm tone brown. This is a really good crease or transition shade for me. That's how I used it in my eye look today. And then next I have right here Sipping Soup. That's what that looks like. That's also a metallic. This has definitely has more of like a light um, leafy green maybe with a hint of like a lime green that to me feels like a thinner metallic formula than this one up here which is the right hand mando the sipping soup feels a little bit more thin after that we have baby face this shade in the middle this is like a, a seafoam green but not shimmer this is a matte maybe like closer to yeah I don't I guess it's how I would describe it is seafoam green. I could be wrong, but you know. And like I said, that is a matte shade. I feel like that's a nice bright shade and the pigmentation on it is really nice. I just, you know, put in like a flat shader brush. I put that in the shade and used it all over my lid and I was happy with it. So next we have this one right here in the end and it's called The Force. This definitely has more gold, and like I said, this feels a little bit like the Super Shock Shadow Formula. There's definitely some fallout in that one, and it's more of a thin formula. So I would use that mainly as a topper shade. So on the bottom row, there's Little Frog. Again, that's that sequin shade, so it's a matte shade with some glitter in it or shimmer. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. I like to tap these all over the lid if I am going to use them over the lid. If not, I just use them like a matte shade. The next shade is called Float Your Crib. Yeah, Float Your Crib. This is one of my favorites because it is deeper, like a deep forest green. And that's what that looks like. I'm gonna try to swatch little bit more over here so I use this shade to deepen my outer corner and I put it on my lower lash line it kind of has a little bit of a blue tone to it very slight so I really enjoy that shade and then the last shade is called droid protocol that's this one right here this is just a deeper chocolate brown I should have used this as a liner today. Okay, there's that shade right there. So here's the whole palette. Obviously my swatches are a little wonky on my arm, but overall I think it's a nice palette. I think it's around $16. Like I said, the pigmentation was decent. The shadows I really like, the shades I really like, the mattes blend out fairly well. I did get a little bit of patchiness as I went into the deeper shades. Uh, but I'm happy with it, so I am glad that I picked it up. It is something that I'll hold on to and keep in my collection, and I mean, it's adorable. Look at that. <laughs> so I had fun playing with it. I don't usually do bright looks like this, but, you know, I felt really confident when I was done with my makeup. So I will for sure dip into that again. I am excited to get some more use out of this shade and let's see here this one up here and then the two deeper shades down at the bottom so i'll definitely do some more eye looks with this and i'll make sure that i pop them on my instagram so that you guys can take a look 
The last thing I did want to mention is that I was able to pick up two of these palettes. I'd like to do a giveaway with this palette and the giveaway will end one week from this video. So one week from today from when this video is posted and I will make sure that I message the winner. So there's three things that you're going to have to do to win this giveaway. One, be subscribed to my channel. I feel like that's a given. Two, thumbs up this video. And the last thing is to just put a comment in the comments below and let me know if you watch Star Wars or not. So I want to know, are you a Star Wars fan or are you not? Just curious. I'm not. I don't dislike it. I just don't. I'm, I don't really watch the videos or movies. Um, so yeah, I am excited. This is my first giveaway. I'm glad that I was able to pick this up for you guys. I know it's something small, but I thought that with the way some ColourPop releases go, it might be nice to be able to give away an extra palette. So like I said, the giveaway will end a week from the day this video is posted. I will put the details in the description box in case you forget. So thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate you guys and I appreciate those of you that return and come back and watch my videos. I'm having a ton of fun doing this and I will see you guys next time. Bye!